All right, so now we're going to look at the concept of actually converting mixed fractions to percents. Now, let's recall what we did before. So when we changed something from percent, from fraction to percent, all we did was we took our number, let's say we had three over five, and then what we did was we actually did this, three divided by five and then times by 100 to get our percentage, which actually ends up being 60%. So three divided by five times 100 gives us 60%. Now, when we have a mixed fraction, so let's say we have two and one half, right? And we want to turn that into a percent. Here's what we do. The first thing that we have to do is we have to make this look like this, i.e. change our mixed fraction into a improper fraction. So let's do that right away. So we're going to take two, we're going to times it by two, right? We're going to take two, we're going to times it by two. Then we're going to take this last bit and add to it. So this answer is going to be two times two plus one, all divided by two, which gives us five over two, which when we turn it into percent, we really have to do five divided by two and then times by 100, which gives us 250%. And we're done. Let's try that one more time. So imagine I have three and a quarter. The first thing I have to do, I have to change to improper, which means we're gonna take three and four, and we're going to times those two, and then we're going to add whatever the result is from the bottom part. So we times three times four and add one. So we end up with three times four plus one, but then we have to always have, we always have to bring down that denominator. So we end up with 13 over four. Now, the next stage that we have to do is we're going to convert it to percent the improper 2%. And what we have to do is we have to take 13 over four, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 13 divided by four, and then we're gonna times that by 100, which gives us 325% and we're 